Alright, this is the 13 and 20 departure to Lancaster. Four passengers here first. Okay. So I thought I'd take the return journey from Haitian Port to Lancaster. Just to for completion's sake. So master key reverser. Reset AWS. Outside. Headlights on. Destination. We miss with me, Trespery, Portsmouth, or something from Multiple, Exmouth, Exeter. Good enough. Next up is the Marco. 1838. Remember to stop at Markham Junction to have the talking. Alright. Step 5. So if you can't really tell when a X Great Western Railway class 150 was ignored random. So that's the top So we will be taking this train. 2C86, 1320 Haitian Harbour to Lancaster. Calling it Haitian Harbour, Markham, Fair Lane and Lancaster. So if you if you're from Manchester or the north, you'll know that Northern have acquired some ex Great Western Railway units. Uh, which is have some Scott Rail ones as well, which is why Northern has quite a number of different liveries on its trains. So out of here, the speed limit is 20. And this is going up to 40. That's what how they do a really good job with the So we'll do at more conjunction GF. What does GF mean? I don't know. We'll do it do it at twelve thirteen twenty nine. So a few minutes. Next up is Lancaster, eighteen The cup looks good. This is the passion interview. I, mean, I think a few weeks ago I was on a train from Rochdale to Victoria. It was an ex Great Western Railway unit and it still had quite great Western Railway in the PIS. That was interesting. Because it didn't change over to Northern. So I think keep it in step four to maintain it. Step three and four. To maintain a four. So, on the day I'm recording this, it's Sunday the 24th of March. So, last Friday, I had the... I had the Information Systems presentation, which went a lot better than I thought it was, considering I, we didn't have any practice. Basically, the, what the presentation was, was everything we'd been working on in the Information Systems project. So the planning 
So basically what we've got is Ray's Reynolds and we have to make a new database system to sort information. And the first part was to analyze the problem. So like identify the current problems. The second part was to plan the new system, like creating entity relationship diagrams and use case diagrams and use case specifications and normalizing a time sheet thing to get all our tables. Then the third part was using an Oracle database to create the system using to create the database using SQL. Then the last part was creating all the presentation slides to present it to our lab tutor. So at the end of the presentation our lab tutor asked us a question because no one else would. And there's also like six people there. So she asked us, so what will you do next? And everyone was kind of silent and I kind of put it in and said, Oh yeah, we'll just implement the new system and throw away the old one. And then someone else just said something about the abuse case diagram, something that we missed. So after the presentation was the PHP test. And considering our tutor doesn't really teach us much, she just talks about Harry Potter. I thought it went pretty well. We got 15 coming up. So basically all that happened in the PHP test was some basic PHP questions like what symbol do you put in front of variables in PHP? The answer is the dollar sign. Another one was like what does this code do? Which I think it think of a bit of a stupid question because you just copy the code from the question, put it into an OPAC plus plus, and then run it through ZAMP. And then the last few questions were just um, here's a description of the word and here's the MD5 hash, just decrypt it. Basically, basically all you need is just a bunch of for loops. Like the very last question was a four letter word. The second and third character were vowels. And then you have to, and then the first, first and fourth were just lowercase letters, and it had to be an animal. Like goat, because O and A are vowels, and then the middle. So I don't know how our user wanted us to do that question, but I just thought, screw this and doing it my way. So basically what I did was just have four nested for loops that just run through. So if you don't know how a for loop works, you, you declare a variable like i, set it to a number, and then you loop till a maximum number, and you just increment it every time it gets into the loop. So if you want to lowercase letters in ASCII, if you if you know the ASCII table, so lowercase a is 97 and lowercase z is 122. So basically what I did was just loop through the numbers between 97 and 122, and then convert i to a character value. Like 98 will be lowercase b. And then because it was four characters, it had to have four nested for loops. Then it just used a different variable to concatenate the word. Then it just used an MD5 hash of that. Use an MD5 hash of that. And then compare it to the hash we got given in the question and see what came out. Mine was full, spelled F O A L. I thought that was right. Everyone gets different questions because it's randomized. So we're now approaching Markham. You need to stop somewhere and hand back the token.
Fall out of it. Because he's not moving, because he's ass. Alright. Stop. Sounds like I'm going to finish the visit. Alright, here's your token. There. You can go now. Mark him out thirteen thirty four. So we're early. Two out at thirty eight. So I'm gonna be gonna be start here for about eight minutes. So I just cut the video when I get in and then just start recording again. When for just for departure. This time we'll go right to the end. So off the door, so now we're at Markham we need to change ends, so put that to neutral, to the key out, put the DRA on, break to the third step, off the doors, and the headlights to tail. Now we just need to switch to the other end. And set up the cab from here. So, that's a key. Versa. AWS. DRA off. Only one. Outside. Headlights. I think that, I think that looks like a good thumbnail shot. So, I'll just cut the video here and then start recording again before departure. So it is now 13.37, we've got about a minute to go to departure to Berlin. A good destination. We're going to move begins with L. Blue, this good. This liquid, this good. Be kind of appropriate. So speed limit out. Speed limit out of here is 15. Thing it was forty. Yeah, the timetable says it passed Markham. How is that possible? Must be a glitch. The next stop is Berlin at thirteen forty two. So instead of going right towards Haitian, we're going straight on towards Berlin and the West Coast Bay Line. I 
And that stop sign is only for trains towards Hersham. So the speed limit is now going to go up to 40. Mr. Powerhouse did do a really good job with his arms. So now we reach 40, we can back off from the power and just coast our way towards Bear Lane. So you can now see a bare lane coming up with a level crossing. You should now start thinking about slowing down. Is crashed? No, nope, just falls. So this is this is Berlin. Platforms are quite short. That's going to get annoying really quickly. <laughs> so we are due out of Bear Lane at 13.42. Then us with Lancaster arriving at 13.48. So the speed limit is now 15 as we go over the set of junctions. So this Friday will be the MySQL test, which basically all I have to do is uh, download the SQL file from Moodle, then put it into PHP in my admin, and then just run some very, very basic SQL queries. So it should be very easy. Also, before that, I've got the Information Systems mock test. It's basically three questions. The first question will be about surveillance, the second question will be 
was it? Something like an ERD, where I can either get given a passage and create an entity relationship diagram from that, or I get given like a timesheet or something, and I have to normalize it and draw an ERD from that. And then the third question is from SQL. So, like, describe what a data dictionary is, or write a SQL query that does this. You know, I'm not, I'm not that bad at drawing ERDs from a passage, it's just normalizing something first and then drawing an ERD from that. So this is Markham's South Junction, where we join the West Coast Main Line, and the speed limit is now 110, even though we can only get up to 75, because the train wasn't designed to go 110. service. This is completely cheating, but yeah, I was always look where you're going. So, luckily, the class 150 has very good acceleration, which is why it's called a spinner. So we should be back up to speed in the very short time. <coughs> so we have about a mile to Lancaster. So we're going down to 75. So 35, 20, 40, 20. So the lowest speed limit will be 20. So we are now cleared into platform 1, 2. Left. Is it like a castle or something? Oh, just some really tall buildings. So there's a junction ahead of us, the speed limit is 20. Then I'll go to 4 for a short time, then back down to 20 as we enter the bay platforms. This is a Lancaster. Change here for the University of Central Lancaster. Lancashire. Whatever it's called. It's called the, it's called the UCLan.
So we are doing to Lancaster at 13.48. So about two minutes late. It's normal. So over at Lancaster, gonna So this is a Lancaster turn the engine off. So this is Lancaster, our final destination. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me talking about university. So I'll see you in the next video.